What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode 11 of our game Salad Space Shooter tutorial. So in this episode we're going to add a second enemy type, um, change his color slightly and his speed slightly, have him shoot bullets towards the player, and have a spawner that spawns him in later in the level. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So we're going to create a new enemy. Uh, so we can go ahead and hit the plus sign to add a new enemy. We're going to call him enemy 2. And we're going to use the same stuff as enemy 1. So let's go ahead and grab the graphic for him. And then the size of enemy 1 is 46 by 42. So we're going to do the same thing over here. 46... 32 42 all right anything else we need to change in here oh we need to add HP so in enemy 2 we're going to add an attribute and it's an integer we're going to call this integer HP and we're going to give him 3 HP just like our other enemy we're also going to change this enemy's color the reason we didn't choose another enemy from our pack is because I wanted to show you how dynamic it can be using other um, using the built-in editor here. And uh, usually on a Mac or uh, where you have better color palettes, you can see what they're going to look like. Um, but for some reason, I'm only being given these ones. So we can go in and see what these changes look like on our player, I mean on our enemy. So he's supposed to be red, so I think I'm going to make him kind of a maroon. He's a little too dark. So let's see... Orange. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. It kind of differentiates him from the other. So let's put one of him here and one of him here. Yeah, you could tell that that is a special or different kind of enemy. Good. Alright, so we also need to copy in all of his behaviors. So let's copy move by using control C and then go over here and control V to paste it in. And we're just going to change his speed to 100 instead of 150. And the reason we're going to do this is because since he's going to shoot, I want to give more time to interact with the player so that you can dodge a bullet and come back and try and shoot him and kind of have a, a fun experience. So then we also want the collision with the laser rule. So we're going to copy that and paste it over here. We need to make sure that it's still going to work because um, we had to add a new attribute. So we're just going to relink these to HP. So we click on the A, choose attributes, enemy 2, HP. And we need to do the same thing here. We erase invalid path and just go to attributes, enemy 2, HP. There we go. And that should subtract one from the enemy's health every time it gets hit. We go back to enemy one. We will see our final one, which uh, checks for HP and then uh, destroys the enemy. So we will paste that in. And invalid path is referencing HP. So we need to go into enemy two HP. We're just rep replacing all the references to it. Uh, game score is fine, explosion is fine, so everything else seems to work fine. Let's go ahead and add one into our level just to be sure. Hit play. And there is no collision with our bullet. So let's see if it collides with the... Oh, that's right. Okay. So in our laser... We also need to say what happens when we collide with the enemy. So let's copy this rule and paste it and just choose enemy 2. So now the bullet should disappear when he hits him and then he blows up when he's done. Great. We're going to erase the enemy now because we don't want to have to place our enemies in. We want them dynamically spawned. So um, the first thing we're going to do is make our enemy shoot bullets. So let's add some graphics for that. Let's go to our media library. 
and hopefully I still have the shooter project we might have to download the graphics again uh, but let's hit the plus sign uh, let me go to downloads and nope I think I'm gonna have to download the pack really quick which is fine it gives me a chance to give Kenny another shout out Kenny.nl if you haven't heard me mention him in every other video I've made he makes just great uh, assets and he lets people use them for free without even needing to attribute him though obviously I attribute him all the time because he's great but say love you uh, so we're gonna download this pack this is the space shooter redux pack it has lots of really cool stuff we're gonna extract it to our desktop um, you can use Windows Explorer if you'd like but basically you should have the folder layout we're gonna open up the PNG folder because that's where all our graphics are and let's just go to uh, game sell it again and hit import at the plus sign and uh, we're going to go into uh, space shooter and choose PNG and go to lasers perfect now we want a yellow laser um, or an orange laser or a red laser so let's go ahead and I'm not sure why these aren't showing up right away but let me just open these up here okay so let's go ahead and grab this one this one looks menacing let's drag this bad boy in and now we can make uh, an object for him by dragging him into the uh, scene editor and then quickly oops quickly deleting it from the scene editor and now we have an actor for it and then we're going to name this enemy laser all right so for our player laser we have it moving upwards so let's go ahead and copy that and have our enemy laser move in the direction of 270 degrees downwards at a speed of how fast was our laser going 400 so our enemy laser should probably go 400 also let's make it fair and uh, let's leave it there for now and uh, let's also say if the laser hits our player the laser disappears so let's create a new rule that says if it collides with our player then destroy now if it hits us it will destroy itself and now we need to spawn this actor this laser so in enemy 2 we're gonna create a timer and in this timer we're gonna say every uh, two seconds and every one second uh, spawn actor laser and we want to spawn it in back of the enemy now let's drag this enemy in again let me play uh, we see that oh it's spawning our player laser we need to change this to spawn our enemy laser and try this again he was shooting himself there we go now he's shooting a red laser i like that uh, excuse me one second something in my eye All right, so now he can shoot a red laser. It's kind of a large laser, but that's cool. Our game should be larger than life. So let's delete this actor and go into our enemy spawner. Now this enemy spawner um, spawns a simple enemy every two seconds. So we need to create a new enemy spawner and call this enemy spawner two. And we're going to do the same rule, uh, timer, every five seconds, spawn, actor, and actually we can copy this code, excuse me, my, I must have gotten something in my eye, uh, for enemy spawner one, we're going to copy this because we did all this work making a randomizer from zero to our display size, um, and then figuring out how far up we needed to spawn the actor to show up above the screen. So we're going to copy this 
and then click inside of this timer and then paste it with control C and control V. Control C is for copy, control V is for paste. And instead of enemy one, we're gonna choose enemy two. Now by default, this doesn't exist yet in our level. So in enemy spawner one, which does exist, we're gonna add another timer and say after 30 seconds, of beating these enemies spawn actor and we're gonna spawn our second enemy spawner so it's gonna give you 30 seconds of the first um, uh, wave of enemies and then a second wave of enemies after that that are harder along with the first wave because this is still gonna be running so um, we're actually gonna change this to 10 seconds because I don't want to wait 30 seconds just to show if it works and let's hit play and see what happens. So we're playing the game. We have these enemies. Now that other spawner is very visibly on the screen. And there is our first enemy that shoots back. Um, obviously we need to get rid of that enemy spawner uh, box on the top left. But that's a very easy fix. All we have to do is go to Enemy Spawner 2, go to Color, and change the Alpha to 0. And let's try this again. So we should have 10 seconds of the first wave of enemies, which are weaklings and don't shoot back, but are pretty quick. And then after 10 seconds... We have our first other enemy type that's actually shooting back and those are going to keep spawning every five seconds while these smaller ones spawn every two seconds so now we can already tell that our game is getting more and more difficult as we play it and it's starting to get pretty fun i just realized i'm running on 12 seconds i mean 12 minutes here and 12 and a half minutes here so i'm going to save and uh, we're going to stop here, and I will be back shortly with another episode, all right? Uh, post down in the comments if you have ideas of what you'd like to see next. I'll probably do power-ups and, um, I don't know, just random stuff like that, all right? Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.